Back with our GMA cover story, we're going to stick with this First Republic Bank uh, failure and what the fallout means for consumers. Chief Business Correspondent Rebecca Jarvis is back with a reality check. Big bank failure here, second largest bank failure in history. What does it mean for consumers? So, George, ultimately here, it's nerve-wracking to see, but it is an encouraging sign about it, what it says for consumers, because we saw an orderly transition of First Republic being bought by J.P. Morgan. Everybody who had money inside of First Republic will be made whole. Their deposits will go over to J.P. Morgan, and they'll be able to access them. And when you sort of zoom out and look at the bigger picture, the same thing has now happened with both Silicon Valley Bank as well as Signature Bank. So, George, while it might shake your confidence to see See the ultimate headline when you look at how it's played out. It's a very stabilizing sign for the market. Right, and it seems to be isolated to First Republic, not spreading to other banks. Yes, isolated to First Republic. What we've seen here is a handful of these regional banks that have very specific businesses. First Republic's business, primarily with wealthy individuals dealing in mortgages. Silicon Valley Bank's, uh, the, the bank that went under in March, their business tied very directly to the tech market. And when you look at other regional banks, they're not necessarily serving the same consumers and they're not facing the identical issues. And many of them, according to the Treasury, are in a much more sound position. So this have any impact on the rest of us who didn't bank at First Republic? It can have a ripple effect, and one of the biggest concerns of that ripple effect is not a 2008-style financial crisis like what we saw previously, but an issue with access to mortgages, access to credit. When banks face issues like this because of the risks they took on, consumers who want to do more banking, who want to take on a loan to get a car, take on a loan to buy a house, take on a loan to expand a business, can face a more uphill battle because banks are tightening up. They're restricting some of that lending. So that could be an issue. So could some of the regulations that come along. That could end up in more fees down the road. But again, these are not things that have materialized yet, George. They're things that could happen down the road. The thing we know is that interest rates are rising. Those credit card debts are going up, whether or not any of this is going on in the background. And the best thing you can do for yourself, George, is pay off that credit card debt if you're in a position to do so, because it will continue to get more expensive, George. Always makes sense. Rebecca Jarvis, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.